First at six, police hope one arrest clears five Midtown robberies. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. Those crimes all carried out in one week. Just take a look at the map of activity from June 15th to the 21st. Tonight, officers say they believe one man was involved in the mall. KTV News Watch Evans Camilla Ortiz is tracking the big story. She is live in Benson. Rob Brandy, I'm inside Daisy Jones' locker where one of the robberies turned violent. The shop owner told police she was stabbed several times by the suspect in this area behind the counter before she was dragged by the hair and then shoved into this dressing room. Small business owners in the metro are breathing a sigh of relief. Some more than others. Yeah, they just have basically the entryway. Shop owner Angie Coleman is still bandaged up after being stabbed last Friday during a robbery at Daisy Jones Locker in Benson. Surveillance video showing the suspect walking in and out. Omaha police believe that's 41 year old Thomas Johnson. They arrested him Tuesday morning. Now he's in jail, booked for four other crimes, all within the same week. He never put his knife away, and he kept saying, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Amy Chin, owner of Sweet Magnolia's Bakery near 40th and Cumming, was robbed last Wednesday afternoon. She says a man came in right before closing and asked to use her phone. When she said no, he pulled out the weapon and demanded cash. I was terrified. My hands were shaking, thinking about my kids. I've got kids at home. Luckily, the man only grabbed cash from the register and left. According to police reports, he targeted another business that same day, Three Dog Bakery in Midtown. This surveillance video captured around 7 that night. He uh, jumped over the counter and grabbed her and told her to open the register. He physically grabbed her and took her into the back room. It's something owner Crystal Talha says she never wants to have happen again. That's why from now on, she says her employees won't be manning the store alone. Police say Johnson also robbed the Cleveland clothing store in the Blackstone District and a subway near 24th and Cumming. They still haven't released a photo of him as they're still investigating the crimes. Reporting live in Benson, Camilla Ortiz, KETV Newswatch 7. Camilla, thanks.